All right, we got, a, we, we got a new big sis here. Some of you guys got to, got to meet the family. You want to tell us a little bit about, whoop, excuse me, about your baby sister. What's that? Yeah, you're a big sister, right? Yeah. You're a big sister. All right, very good. So it is a wonderful thing uh, to see families growing and folks growing and, wow, pretty neat. So, we have an interesting story today. A story that goes back to the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And as God created everything, it says the Lord says it's good. Can you say that with me? It's good. Do you ever say that about something? You never say that about anything? What, you never say that about dinner? It's good. You never say that about dessert? It's good. That ice cream, that was good. Right? That's what God says about everything God is making. And donuts. Oh, somebody knows what's good. Somebody knows what's good. So, God says it's good. And the story is, there are two beautiful gardens. And in the story it says, they were naked and not ashamed. Yeah, when God made them, they didn't come with clothes. There were only two of them. Everything was fine. And there was a creature, it says in the story, that was more crafty hmm, <laughs> than all the others. It was the serpent. It was a serpent that walked and talked. And the serpent came to the woman and said, did God say you can't eat any of the fruit in this beautiful garden? No way. God said we just can't eat fruit from that tree, the tree that helps us know good and evil. We can't even touch it or we'll die. You won't die. <laughs> God knows that when you eat it, your eyes will be opened and you'll become like God and you'll know good and evil. And isn't it supposed to, aren't we supposed to become like God? I mean, God made us in God's image. Oh. And so the story is, she took some of the fruit and she ate and she gave it to her husband who was with her because they were together at the time. So you can't just blame the, blame, the, blame the girls. It's all the girls' fault for eating that. Right? Because the guy was there too. Now, when they both ate, the story says, their eyes were opened. Their eyes were opened. And they realized they were naked, but this time they were ashamed. And so when God showed up to go on a walk with them, they hid. They hid from God and from each other, which is a horrible thing to do, to hide ourselves. Did you ever feel ashamed of something? A couple times, yeah. Some of you haven't, good for you. I know what it's like to feel ashamed. You certainly want to hide. You don't want anybody to see you. But I'm really glad that even then, God comes looking for us. Just like God did for that first man and that woman. And God keeps looking for us even today. Let's pray together. Will you guys bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat after me? Dear God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for looking for us. We thank you for making us good. Help us enjoy all you made. And help us not to hide. Amen. All right. Now we have worksheets for you, and I know.